Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a power hour speed clean video. This is actually the first speed clean video I filmed in our new house. Not to say that I haven't cleaned since we moved. I have, as you have seen, little snippets of cleaning in vlogs and things, but this is the first full speed clean video that I will have filmed for the new house, so it's quite exciting. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do lots of speed cleaning, as well as lots of home organization and life hacks and things, especially since we've just moved to our new house. Um, as well as vlogs, parenting tips, tricks, hacks and advice, grocery hauls, all that kind of thing. I hope you'll love it. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Right, let's get on with some cleaning. I hope this gives you lots of motivation to clean your own house too. I am starting today's power hour as I like to by getting a load of laundry on. That way the machine is working while I am cleaning. It's cleaning clothes, I'm cleaning the house, twice the amount of cleaning is being done. And that way by the end of the power hour I should be able to swap over and do another load. So I'm actually putting a mixed load in because I'm quite on top of the laundry and I haven't got two separate loads. So I'm using this reusable color catcher. You're supposed to tick them off as you wash. I never do that, I'm honest. I just use them until they go a dark gray color and then they become a cleanup cloth. So those are fantastic. I will link those below. And then I'm using my method. My, my favorite combination is the purple the laundry wash and the pink one. I don't know what they're called, just the purple and the pink one, but I will link them below um, for the fabric soft. Now. now I'm back upstairs in my room and reaching for some cleaning supplies because I do like to have cleaning supplies near to where I plan to use them. So here we've got cloths, we've got a duster, we've got some freshener, oh there you go, Zara's pinching my duster. And then in the bathroom, up out high, out of the way, I keep this glass cleaner, so I will be using that. We're starting in my bedroom today, which has a lot of glass in it. If you've watched our renovation updates, uh, you know I've bought a lot of this uh, stuff from Ikea, a lot of the furniture, and I have invested in the glass tops to go on top of the dressing table type, um, the dressing table has got a glass top on it, on top of the uh, units like the chest of drawers and things, because I think that they will sort of stay nicer for longer, otherwise I do find that the, the white can get kind of nicked and you end up just with sort of scruffy looking uh, tops of the furniture when the paint is chipped and things. So the glass tops obviously just need cleaning a little bit more to kind of polish up, they sort of attract dust a bit more, don't they? Now onto my dressing table, which I am cleaning off all the bits and pieces and starting with the mirror. We have got a lot of mirrors in our new house. I wanted mirrors to kind of create the illusion of more space, which is great, but it does mean there's a lot of cleaning to be done, which, you know, it's a bit of a pain, isn't it? So. I'm liking the mirrors. Um, I'll, I'll get back to you on having done a lot more cleaning when we've lived here a bit longer about how much all the mirrors are driving me nuts for fingerprints and cleaning and stuff. So we have got a little um, hack that I'm gonna try on the bigger mirrors in a second for cleaning those, so stay tuned for that. So that's my mirror cleaned and the glass on top. Oh, hang on. I had to pause from cleaning because Zara wanted some spray on neck. That's perfume. But that's what the girls call my perfume. Spray on neck. So anyway. Back to putting my little tubs of um, the hair brushes and makeup brushes and things back and then moving around. I'm kind of going around the room in a clockwise direction and then as I'm cleaning the, and using these cloths, I am putting them into a bucket ready to be washed. I'm just using a little bit of Zoflora on that, by the way. That's diluted Zoflora, which cleans and kind of disinfects to do the door handles. The reason that the um, the skirting boards were so sludgy. I think we're still having a bit of, we still got a bit of building dust going on. Even though the place has been cleaned, I think after you've done a lot of building work, you get kind of building dust. It seems to just come from nowhere. It comes from nowhere and then, anyway, you have to keep cleaning. If you've lived in a new build or you've had an extension or anything, you'll know what I mean. Now to tackle some big mirrors and I need my folding step because I am only five foot four and I can't reach the door otherwise. So I'm using the Method Glass Cleaner and I'm also using this thing, is it called a squeegee? Is that the word that I'm looking for here? This one's actually from Ikea. I do use this for cleaning things like the shower, um, which I shall do later on. Um, and I thought maybe it would be a quicker way to clean these massive mirrors between that and a microfiber cloth. 
So I will try doing a couple of doors with it and a couple of doors without it and see if it makes much of a difference. Um, the, oh, the only problem with it obviously is it like collects the liquid which you don't want running onto the carpet. So you've kind of got to have the squeegee in one hand and the microfiber cloth in the other. But I think yeah, I think it's making it quicker. I don't know. It's well, I don't know. Let's you know, let's try one without as well, shall we, and see if um, if it's not making a difference or if it is making a difference. So if we do this door with just the cloth, I don't know, is that quicker? Not sure really, not sure. Um, I think the problem I tend to find with mirrors and things, I tend to apply too much product. And if you apply too much product, there's too much to rub off. So being sparing with applying product seems to be the answer to making cleaning and things like mirrors a little bit easier because when you really slather it on you just end up with a really soggy cloth and having to change the cloth over and over and over and just more to kind of wipe off. Trying again with the squeegee now. I'm undecided. I'm thinking it might make it a little bit quicker but perhaps just because I applied too much product. Not sure. Let me know in the comments. Do you think using squeegee is the way forward for big mirrors. Anyway, on to another glass surface now, which is my top of my like, bedside cabinet thing. Uh, the, the These little cabinets, they're, I think they're called Malm cabinets in Ikea. The glass is almost as much as the actual cabinet itself, but I do think it's worth it for it to stay kind of nice. Now we're using my homemade fabric refresher, and this is just some essential oils, some bicarbonate soda, and some water mixed up. I have got the instructions for exactly how to do that and to buy the bottle and things linked down below in the description if you want to make your own fabric refresher that's kind of a bit more natural but want to make your pillows and fabrics and things smell divine. Now on to the windowsill which is another little kind of dirt collector. Um, I'm not going to do the blinds because they were actually done a couple of days ago. I am going to Zoflora the radiator. Not that the radiator is going on at the moment because it's quite warm, but if you do Zoflora your radiators, when the radiators do come on, they smell amazing. And then back to some more skirting boards and we've gone through a few cloths. They're soggy, so they're going into that basket and they're going to be washed at the end of this power hour. And now to vacuum, um, and oh look, there's my little hair tool organizer. One of my um, followers recommended that in the comments of one of my videos. I bought it and I love it. It's for my uh, hair straighteners and my hair um, hair dryer, not hair brush. Hair brushes go on top in the buckets. But yeah, it's fantastic. Right, on to Zara's room. Zara is my youngest and I think my messiest child, if I'm honest. She is only three, so in all fairness. So I'm just picking up all her bits and pieces. I'm not doing like a thorough deep clean in here. I am picking up her soft toys, which go into the bean bags without beans. Bean bags without beans are the best thing ever. You just buy a normal bean bag, add it without beans, or empty the beans out, and use it to store soft toys. It's not quite as comfortable, probably, as if it did actually have beans in it, but it's an amazing way to hide all the soft toys and keep them so that the children can access them and they've still got somewhere to sit. Honestly, if there's one thing you do for your children's rooms, do that. Now I'm just going to make Sarah's bed, which is a bit of a mess as well. I don't need to change the sheets because they were recently done too. And then we're moving on to vacuuming the hall. We've not got much of a landing in this house, but then it's less carpet to have to vacuum, isn't it? So, you know, every cloud and all that. And I am going to clean the bathroom, but first I'm just going to grab any bits of like obvious dust and things with the vacuum cleaner and then into Bella's room which is a bit of a mess as well she's normally pretty good at making a bed but you know not so much today and folding up her onesie and stuffing it into the hood I do that when they're going swimming to put it into the swimming bag it kind of uh, keeps it nice and neat but I do it to store it in the house as well because it just creates a bit more space doesn't it by uh, storing onesies like that sort of makes them a bit neater to store I'm clearing Bella's table. They have a bottle of water to go to bed, those little sports bottles, and for some reason she's got three of them. She's been collecting them and not taking them back down to the kitchen. So they all need to go back down to the kitchen. And I, although I wasn't going to clean as such in here, I was just going to do the floors. This table is dusty, so it is having some diluted dough flora and it's just being wiped just to get rid of the dust and the yuck. And now just to fold up her blankets or her blankies as she calls them. She loves blankets, honestly. She just like blankets are toys to my daughter to both of them actually they adore blankets and then to just give the the carpets and the rug a little bit of a vacuum and 
um, that room is pretty much that's all I'm going to do in here to be honest because you know I've, I've spent quite a lot of time in my room and I do need to clean the bathroom so first job is to grab all the towels that need washing and to empty the bathroom bin and then I'm going to just stick some bleach down the toilet so while I'm cleaning the rest of the bathroom the bleach can be doing its thing and you know cleaning the toilet for me now for some method multi-surface and a cloth which I keep in this little drawer under the sink and I'm going to wipe over the top of the bin uh, because that was a bit dusty and now we're going to start up high and then work down we've got a bit of method glass to do this mirror uh, the method glass it's got a reasonably nice smell the mint smell but this method pink grapefruit just smells amazing I did try the method bathroom cleaner and it worked perfectly well and it smelled okay it smelled like the mint uh, glass cleaner but the multi-purpose pink grapefruit does it for me I can use it anywhere so I could take it to a different room and use it as well and it does the same job but I prefer the smell and to be honest if I prefer the smell of something I'm more likely to clean it's just I'm that basic <laughs> so now I'm just wiping over the drawers because they get toothpaste spat on them and now this very very dusty towel rail I don't know how it's got so dusty like I said we've only been here a couple of weeks and it's really really dusty and I have wiped it already but I guess we are still experiencing the building site dust wiping over Zara's step which I did buy a little grey step to match the room and I'm really pleased with that actually and now to do the shower what you'll probably notice in the corner of the shower that I'm wiping now is my soap dispenser so I've got shampoo conditioner and shower gel in there it means we don't have to have any bottles in the shower or taking in and out of the shower because you know I read Marie Kondo doesn't leave shampoo bottles in the shower because it does leave gunk doesn't it you end up with like gunk rings around the place it's just a place to collect dirt so I was taking them in and out of the shower and wiping them being a good girl and putting them in the cupboard and it was such a faff and I do like just having this little dispenser I also find it dispenses a small amount so I'm not wasting as much product so so far so good and it sticks to the tiles you don't have to drill so now as you will see I'm using the glass cleaner again to do the inside of the glass on the shower this was really quite gunky gross as well inside and out bizarrely it had been splattered with I don't know shower gels and all sorts even though I do use like a daily shower spray as well so you know it's not as bad as it would have been but it's just surprising how quickly things get all gunked up when there are loads of people living in a house I think uh, so I've used the method glass for the glass and the multi-surface pink grapefruit for the shower tray and now I'm doing the outside of the glass as well this is our main bathroom there is a shower downstairs and downstairs bathroom as well but not as many people use that one so the majority of people in the household tend to use this bathroom which is why it's the one that gets the dirtiest it's nearly done with the shower now it's nice to have it all sparkly clean the question is how long will it stay like this answers in the comments I'm guessing personally not very long at all I'm now going to wipe over the outside of the toilet brush I still got to use the actual toilet brush itself to clean the toilet but I just thought I'll wipe over the outside of it now clean cloth again I do go through a lot of these cloths I've got a lot of these microfiber cloths and they all go in a little basket and then they get washed to do the windowsill and the top like the shelf on the toilet so I'll clean the toilet last and then wash my hands but I have done the shelf and now wiping all around the bath I do wipe around the bath after the children get out anyway and I sometimes use the daily shower spray on it so the bath isn't too bad to be honest and um, so just uh, I know I wipe over generally just with a towel just to sort of get rid of any bubbles and gunk and things but I don't necessarily give it a clean every time I have a bath answer me in the comments how often do you clean your bath do you just wipe it over when it's used do you do it sort of as part of your bathroom clean what do you do so now cleaning the toilet and then obviously this cloth will go directly into the wash as well I flushed away the bleach that we popped in earlier and then just a little go around with the toilet brush and now it's time to wash 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 my hands and now clean hands time to do the floor with my Vileda one two spray what you can't see in here is I'm pulling a little trigger and it's going shh and spraying some method wild rhubarb anti-back floor cleaner onto the tiles so it smells divine and it's just so easy to do it's so much easier than mopping and now for fresh towels the bathroom looks so much cleaner and tidier with a nice fresh towel until someone uses it and then that's the one that kind of just goes on the floor and I'm putting my cleaning products away and there are my dirty things let's take them downstairs to the laundry so this is the load that we put on earlier that has been 
washing while I've been cleaning and I'm separating into one basket of tumble dryable is that a word? Tumble dryable? Anyway, tumble dryable and non-tumble dryable stuff. So then the um, stuff that's going into the wash now is kind of stuff to be disinfected that is absorbent. So this load, I will not use fabric softener on. I'm trying not to overload the washing machine. A few people ask me about this. How come I don't you know, fill it really full? It's to do with weight. And if you put lots of towels in, by the way, that's a capsule of Zofora to disinfect and no fabric softener in there. Anyway, if you overload the washing machine with too many towels, then the weight is too much and your washing machine will end up either breaking or sending an error code. Anyway, taking stuff out of the tumble dryer, I've got this little stacker thing, as you can see, it's got a shelf on it, which is kind of cool. I will link that below. And a fluff bin. I've never had a dryer fluff bin before. I've got a fluff bin now, which makes me super happy. So now the tumble dryable, still not sure if that's a word, stuff has gone in the tumble dryer, and I'm sorting out the wet stuff. So this is the other basket of stuff, and this gets hung up. This is kind of my airing cupboard area. I hang up dry clothes here. Um, or clothes to dry, shall I say. Clothes that need to dry, they get hung up and kind of dry in shape. And there is a little radiator there to sort of keep them warm. I don't keep many things there at all. As soon as they're dry, they go straight upstairs. And I put, I don't know if you can see from here, hangers between the things to keep them apart so that they dry properly. Now, all of this stuff is the stuff that has come out of the dryer. Other than that, that was a bit damp still, so that's gone back in the dryer. That was one of Zara's night nappies. So all of these bits that come out of the dryer are going into the relevant person's boxes. So you can see the boxes I'm sorting things into. There are six boxes, one for each family member, and then towels going into a basket on the floor ready to go straight upstairs. But each family member has a box, and then when it is getting a bit full, I give it to that family member and I say, hey, put your stuff away, please. And the little ones need a bit of help, but Honestly, it has been such a godsend since I've done this method. I used to gather all the stuff. Originally, in my old house, before I had a laundry room kind of organised and had this system, I used to gather all the stuff and we'd have a laundry party once a week and we'd sort everything into who it belongs to and we'd end up with just baskets and baskets of clean washing everywhere. This way, it gets put away into the relevant person's box and then they put away their own things. So it's training the children and the husband to put away their own things and it's sorted as we go so it's not too bad. These are my hair towels, the Toby towels I think they're called, and that's my fold away ironing board which I was just using as a table which has been folded away. I will link that below if you fancy grabbing one for yourself. Thank you so much for watching if you've liked this video please give it a huge thumbs up do not forget to subscribe hit the bell to be notified when i post new videos every tuesday thursday and sunday at 7 pm if you want to catch my latest video it's just across here and for more speed cleaning motivation it's just down here i'll see you guys very very soon bye